If something happens to you, like at a sleepover, whether you got all your eyebrows shaved off or part of your eyebrows shaved off or somebody pulled a dirty prank on you, it's important to tell somebody like your parents right away so then they know what to do and then they can help you. So um, then the problem can get solved. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I apologize for the noise. That was my tablet. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a story about the time my friend came to school with part of her eyebrow shaved off. So this is a story about how my friend came to school with a oh, missing part of her eyebrow. And, um... I told her she needs to tell her grandma and at first she was afraid, but I told her if she didn't tell her grandma, they couldn't solve the problem. So luckily she was able to tell her grandmother because she lived with her grandmother at the time. I am to help her with the problem. So this is a story just to teach you guys, if someone does something bad to you at a party, you should always tell your parents so then they can tell the person's parents who are staying at your, who of whose party you went to, so then they know that, so that problem doesn't happen again. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I apologize for the shaky camera at the end of this clip. My thing that holds my camera wasn't screwed in tightly. And because I won't be using names for safety purposes, I'm going to give my friend a name and call her Eyebrow just because she was missing part of her eyebrow. I'm actually going to have to make this really quick because I have to get on a meeting in two minutes. So anyway, um, this all started about, um, I would say maybe, excuse me. So this all started about 15 years ago. I was a, I was a freshman in high school. I um, had just finished my first period class, which was PE. I had PE in the mornings, and then I would go to my second period class, which was health. And I walk into class and before the bell rings. My friend at the time, Eyebrow, that's what I decided to name her in the video, um, comes to school. And I noticed that part of her eyebrow is missing. I don't want to ask her in the class what happened to her eyebrow, but also um, I'm a little bit, um, so I kind of like wait till class is over to um, ask her. So once class is over, um, we were in class for a while, I think about a half an hour. And then once class is over, I walk up to my friend and whisper in her ear and I was like, what happened to your eyebrow? And she goes, oh, I went to a sleepover on Saturday and then I woke up with part of my eyebrow missing. And I'm like, that's not good. So I tell her, I ask her, did you tell your grandmother? Cause she lived with her grandmother at the time. And she's like, um, no. And I was like, you gotta tell your grandma. So then she can talk to the person whose place you went to for a sleepover and blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying to get her to tell her grandma, but she's too scared to tell her grandma because she doesn't want her grandma to get mad at her. Her. So um, we have our next couple classes together. Um, I don't really say anything to her about her eyebrow. I kind of keep my mouth shut because I don't want her to get embarrassed. So once we're um, done with our next couple classes, we head over to lunch and then I lunch and we eat in the cafeteria under the stairs. So I politely talk to her to her privately away from our other friends. I don't do it to be rude. I just want to talk to her so she doesn't get embarrassed. And I say, hey, I think you really need to tell your grandma you got your eyebrow shaved, part of your eyebrow shaved and blah, 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 blah. And she go, and I, she's like, why? And I'm like, this is not a good thing. You never want to like, you, um, and I'm just worried that other people are going to go around asking you what happened to your eyebrow and blah, 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 blah. And you need to get this problem solved and yada, yada, yada. And then she goes, okay, I'll tell my grandma. So, um, so once lunch is over, um, I go to my six period class and which was just a class I was a TA in. 
And then I walk home with my brother and I tell my mom what happened to my friend when my mom gets home a couple hours later, excuse my tablet. And she goes, did she tell her grandma? And I told her she should tell her grandma and she said she would tell her grandma. Grandma, could, grandma. And it wasn't a very good thing that she walked around with her eyebrow, part of her eyebrows shaved off. So the very next day, my friend comes to school. I think it was a Monday that day. My friend comes to school and she tells me that she had told her grandma what happened. And I think the grandma called the person whose house she was staying at. And they had a, she had a chat with the mother and the mother was um, very, um, um, not, was very upset with what had happened. And I think the, the person, that shaved the eyebrow got punished. I don't know exactly who shaved her eyebrow because she wouldn't exactly tell me. But um, when her she told her grandma, her grandma phoned the person who um, how she was staying at where she got her eyebrow shaved off. And I thought that was a really good thing that we both told somebody so they could help her because that just was not a good prank that someone pulled on her and I was very happy that she was able to tell somebody so then that problem doesn't happen again. Luckily it never happened to her ever again because she never stayed at that person's house ever again. So the moral of the story is if anything mean happens to you like somebody shaving your eyebrow um, at a sleepover it's important to report it right away so then um, you can get the problem solved and then um, you don't want that problem to happen again because it's never good to get your eyebrows shaved because your eyebrows are there to protect your eyes from the dust. And when you get them shaved off, you're going to get dust in your eyes. So it's not a good thing. So if anybody shaves part of your eyebrow off at a sleepover, it's important to report it right away. So that was a story about how my friend showed up to school with part of her eyebrow shaved off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. Before you exit this video, please like this video if you enjoyed as well as subscribe to my channel.